Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a handwriting effect using PowerPoint. You may be familiar with the websites uh, that use a pencil or a pen. There's some kind of hand holding onto a pen and as it goes across the screen the letters look like they're being written. So it looks like this. So this is the effect that I'm talking about where you have something go across the screen. It looks like it's writing out this particular sentence. And it's fairly easy to do. I would call this a poor man's uh, Sparkle or a video scribe because that's probably software that you've seen that actually lets you do it. And they're, they've got a full feature software set that has hands that let you uh, video scribe or write out words, write out Im create images. But if you didn't want to go in uh, put money down and pay for that service, you can actually create something fairly simple in terms of having text look like it's being written out for you. So let me show you how it's done. I'm going to create a new slide right now. Go to new slide and a blank slide and I'm going to put in a text box. Let me put in a text box and I'll just write a short sentence. Maybe I'll say this is how it is done. Right? And we want to put this into a cursive writing font. I'm going to increase the size, select that, maybe make this 60. And before I make it any bigger, I'm going to try to choose a font style that looks like it's cursive. Right? And so there's actually many font styles here that will fit. I think the last one I chose, let me go and look at this one. This one was Edwardian script, so let's try Edwardian script here. Double click this all and go and choose Edwardian script. Right? So I'll find that. That's the one that looked like it worked earlier. And now it's kind of decreased it, so I'm going to increase the size a little bit. So this is going to be, that should be okay, and I'm going to center it. Now what I want to do now is find an image that looks like it's a pen that's writing across. A good place to source these images for free is pixabay.com. Let me go to that site. Now pixabay.com gives you a free high quality image uh, and to get free images. Uh, they're pretty good and you can search for all kinds of images. You can search for photos, vector graphics, illustrations, or even videos. I'm going to choose vector graphics and basically that's because I want to have just the image itself. I don't want to have any background colors or any background images. I just want the image so when I copy it over the PowerPoint, you won't see anything except that pen or pencil or that image going across. Let me select pen for now. And I chose in vector graphics, click search. All right, we got a couple images here. Let's try to pick one out. There's quite a few, but I think I saw one I kind of liked. And it was this one. All right, so I'll select that. I can download it or I can just right click and select copy and go to PowerPoint. So it's copied on the clipboard. I can just go to paste and just paste that. And now you can see that the image is up here. It's kind of big, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and rotate it. So let's make it a little smaller. Let's rotate it a bit. Maybe I'm going to make this a little bit out here since it should match this font. And let me put it over here to start. So what I want to do now is I want to animate it. And there's two animations I want to do. I want to animate the text and I also want to animate the image. First I'm going to animate the text. So let me select the text. Let me make sure it's selected here. And it's a solid line here. Go under Format. Whoops. Go under Animations and go to Appear. I want this particular text to appear one letter at a time. I want to, I want to open up the animation pane and take a look at my text box here. So right click, I want to select Effect Options and I want to go under the Effect tab and under Animate Text I want to have that letter. So letter by letter it's going to come out. And the delay, let's try to make that delay a little bit smaller. Um, five sec 0.5 seconds doesn't seem that long but it's actually still pretty long. Click OK and now it's playing and the animated letters are going one by one. So that's perfect. The second thing I want to do now is I want to make sure that this animates as this goes across. As I looked and I played this, you would notice that the timeline here tells me about how long it goes. So it finishes around about uh, close to four seconds. So I want to make sure that this particular animation is about four seconds. So what we want to do now is we want to select 
my particular image and this needs to have a different animation. I'm going to click the drop down here and it's going to have a motion path animation. Now these are just a couple of the examples of motion paths. These are not the ones I want. I want to go to where it says more motion paths, click it, and then you see that there are a lot of other choices here. I'm going to scroll down here and we have the option of doing a wave or zigzag. Now that's probably going to be something that uh, you should do. There's also a customized one. I pretty much would choose between one of these two. Uh, I'm going to choose the wave here for this example. Click OK. You'll notice that it has a wave pattern here. Now if I wanted to choose custom path, what I can do is I can start to customize it. I can start to customize it, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I want to stick to the wave. So let me click back on my wave and this is the beginning of it and this is the end of it. I'm going to extend it out. Whoops. Control Z to undo. I think I still selected that custom path. Let me double click that. See now it's writing that. So let me Control Z to undo that selection and uh, Control Z to undo it again. Now I want to select my image, go to the more motion paths and go to the wave or I can even do zigzag. I, let me move this across and give you an example of what it looks like. If I do zigzag, you notice it, it zigzags like that. Maybe that one's pretty good. So let me try zigzag in this instance. I did wave on the first one, but let me show you what zigzag looks like here. So I'll click OK, and now it shows you kind of a small example of how it's zigzagging from here to here. We want to increase that to make it uh, the, the span of my letters there. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to increase it all the way to here where it's going to finish, right? And have it go down a little bit, right? And now we'll notice that it goes across. If I click play, you'll notice that it goes and it looks like it's done it pretty well actually. And that's because this is probably playing for less than four seconds. Now if I click on the preview and it starts, you see that this letter starts to get draw, the sentence draws out and this comes in later. We don't want it to come in later. We want it to come in at the same time. So I have to click on here and you notice it would say start and click. I don't want to do that. I want to have it where it goes with previous. So it's going to go at the same time as this particular uh, animation goes. So this text box animation, it's going to start on click when we have our slideshow mode on. It will start on click and this will go ahead and draw out the second animation here. You'll notice that you're going to have to play with the timings a bit. So let me just go ahead and preview this. And this is going faster than that. So what we want to do is we want to increase the length of this. So the duration here is two seconds. We want to make that probably up to close to four seconds because the time it took to draw out the sentence was about four, sentence, four seconds. So let's see how this works out. Now it's 3.75. Click preview. Let's see how that works and it almost did it so maybe there's something where we we want to select a delay here on the first one so let me delay that a little bit and see how that works out so that's delayed now it's writing it out and it's still too fast so i'm going to select the second picture here and increase it a little bit more and click preview and see how it works and now it's writing it out writing it out and it's still too fast boy let's increase the delay maybe to five maybe to let's do five seconds and see how that works out and now it's writing it out and it's going through it and now it's pretty much done it so you as you've seen it's going to be some trial and error where you have to work with the duration or the delay of either one of these to kind of see which one works out and once that's done you have your effect you have your handwriting effect and it's basically what I call a poor man's uh, video scribe. So this is a way that you can animate a handwriting effect using PowerPoint. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.